Welcome to another lecture by Medico Medics, Learning Made Easy. Genetics, Chapter 1, Introduction to Genetics. In this lecture, we will discuss what is genetics, briefly touch upon the history of genetics, the discovery of DNA, why genetics is important in medicine, some key concepts, and end with a summary. Now, genetics is the science of heredity and variation in living organisms. Focus areas include genes, which are the units of heredity, DNA, the blueprint of life, and chromosomes. These carry the genetic material. Why is this relevant? Because it explains biological diversity, and it links traits to their hereditary origins. So an example of this is, why do some people have curly hair while others don't? That's an example of genetics at work. Now, before modern science, people thought that traits blended together like mixing colors. But it wasn't until the discovery of cells where we got our first clues to start understanding heredity uh, correctly. Because, for example, the blending inheritance theory couldn't explain trait reappearance. And pangenesis was the idea that small particles from the body would transfer traits to our offspring. But, uh, and it implied that acquired traits could be inherited. And this was later disproven. Only after the discovery of cells with the technological advancements of microscopy and when we get to Gregor Mendel, who is a, called the father of genetics, did we start understanding heredity. So Gregor Mendel, called the father of genetics, what he did was he experimented with pea plants and he observed patterns of inheritance in traits, for example, tall versus short plants. And that led him to formulate two laws. First, the law of segregation. So each parent passes one copy of a gene. He also uh, formulated the law of independent assortment. So traits are inherited independently. So, for example, tall plants crossed with short plants produce tall offspring, but short plants can appear in the next generation. So, following from Mendel's discoveries, we found that traits actually don't blend like they thought before. Instead, they are passed down like uh, in patterns. And it's like flipping a coin. And then, of course, with the discovery of DNA, everything accelerated. Now, Friedrich, in 1869, discovered the nuclein, later known as DNA. And he did that in white blood cells. In 1952, the Hershey Chase experiment proved DNA, not proteins, is the genetic material using viruses and radioactive labeling. Further on, 1953, Watson, Crick, and Franklin used X-ray diffraction to describe the DNA double helix structure. And the structure of DNA, though, therefore, as we know it now, is a double helix, so a spiral staircase, and you can see it illustrated here. And it is made of sugar, phosphate, and nitrogen bases. And then you find A, T, C, G pairings, where you have adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. So DNA is like a twisted ladder made of molecules. It carries the instructions for how your body grows and works. And further, moving into modern genetics, we've had the Human Genome Project that went on from 1990 to 2003, where we mapped all human genes. And this means that, similar to creating a GPS for the human body, 
It helps us to develop better treatments for diseases. And of course, it enabled breakthroughs in medicine and technology. Some of these technologies could be CRISPR, which is a gene editing tool. So an example is we use gene therapy for conditions like muscular dystrophy, uh, where modern genetic tools are used. And this gene therapy is becoming more and more and more popular now. So why genetics is important in medicine? Because first of all, diagnostics. It helps us identifying genetic causes of diseases. For example, sickle cell anemia. Personalized medicine. So tailoring treatments based on DNA. For example, targeted cancer therapy. Preventive measures. So predicting disease risk like BRCA mutations for breast cancer. Now, some key concepts in genetics include the gene, which is the unit of heredity, and it codes for proteins. Then we have chromosomes. These structure organizing DNA in cells. And we have 23 pairs in humans, and in total, 46. Mutations, so change in DNA sequence that can affect health. An example is a mutation in the hemoglobin gene leading to sickle cell disease. So a way to think about it is that genes are like instructions. Chromosomes are the books that hold these instructions. And mutations are typos in those instructions. So in summary then, genetic studies how traits and diseases are inherited. It's crucial in medicine, agriculture, and technology. Historical milestones include Mendel's laws and the discovery of DNA. And modern genetics drives personalized medicine and new treatments. That's the end of the first chapter. Continue now to chapter 2.